You ever had someone say, watch your step? Well, in the Cobra's world, it's more like, watch your face. Because if you're unlucky enough to catch the wrong snake's attention, you're not walking away with a bite, you're walking away with two jet streams of eyeball-melting venom delivered with the grace of a martial arts master and the aim of a Navy SEAL. Yes, a snake that doesn't bite first, but instead spits venom with sniper precision straight into your eyes. Nature really woke up one day and said, hmm, let's give this noodle with fangs some aerosol-based chemical warfare. Welcome to the world of spitting cobras, and you're about to find out why they're one of evolution's most unreasonably dramatic plot twists. Meet the drama queen of the reptile world. Cobras already had a pretty solid resume. Long body, iconic hood, terrifying stare, but some decided to take it up a notch. Several cobra species like the African black-necked Cobra Naya nigricollis, red-spitting Cobra Naya pallida, and Rinkhal's Hemachatus Hemachatus developed the ability to spit venom up to 10 feet. That's right, a snake that basically turns into a pepper spray bazooka when annoyed. What makes it even more absurd is that this adaptation evolved independently in at least three separate cobra lineages, once in Africa, once in Asia, and again in the ring halls. That's not evolution messing around. That's evolution saying, fine, you want eye melting juice? I'll triple it. This biological behavior is called convergent evolution, the scientific term for great minds think alike, especially when those minds want to ruin someone's afternoon. How to turn your face into target practice. Picture this. You're minding your business in the savannah. Suddenly a hood flares. No warning hiss, no lunging strike. Just pshht. A twin stream of venom arcing through the air like a chemical super soaker from hell. These snakes don't just spit randomly, they aim. Scientific studies, thanks Bangor University and ResearchGate, show that spitting cobras actually track the position of your face, oscillate their heads to create a cone-shaped spray, and even adjust their venom pressure based on how far away you are. That's right fluid dynamics, real-time geometry, and predictive motion tracking. All from a creature with no eyelids and the brain the size of a peanut, you move your head a few inches? The cobra recalculates like a GPS and leads the shot by 200 milliseconds. Essentially, it's not spitting at you. It's spitting at where you're about to be. It's like a snake with predictive aim assist. Fortnite players wish they had this kind of accuracy. The science of searing pain and sobbing regret. So what happens when that venom hits the target? According to research published in the journal Toxins, MDPI, the venom is loaded with Phospholipus A2 and cytotoxins, a mix that causes instantaneous burning, inflammation, corneal damage, and in some cases, permanent blindness. You get all the joy of a habanero pepper in your eyeball, plus a cellular breakdown bonus. Doctors in Taiwan track 39 cases of spitting cobra venom, getting in people's eyes over a 26-year period. Most victims were men, and almost all the incidents happened when someone thought it would be smart to get closer for a better look. Spoiler, it wasn't. It never is. Symptoms range from mild discomfort to burning, blurred vision, conjunctivitis, and even ulcers on the cornea. If untreated, the venom can literally melt part of your eyeball, which fun fact is the opposite of a good time. You made them this way, yes you. Now here's where things go full Twilight Zone. Why did cobras evolve this brutal ability in the first place? Well, it turns out they didn't just wake up one morning and say, you know what I'd like? A squirt gun for enemies. Researchers at Bangor University and Cornell found something creepily specific. Spitting venom evolved right around the time human ancestors started walking upright and waving clubs around. That's right. Your ancient uncle may have accidentally turned cobras into venom snipers. As early hominins became more upright and threatening, Snakes evolved this long-distance defense specifically to deter primates like us. It's evolution's version of, back off, Steve. These snakes weren't just adapting to predators, they were adapting to two-legged jerks with bad tempers and worse aim. This mutual arms race, the snakes evolving defense, the humans evolving tools, and the snakes evolving against the tools is a storytelling goldmine. It has tension, timing, escalation, surprise, everything your video, pitch, or novel desperately needs.
The venom is the message. Want to keep your audience hooked like a terrified mongoose? Learn from the cobra. Don't wait to build up to the good stuff. Lead with the venom, your boldest, weirdest, most emotionally charged idea right in the first minute. The cobra doesn't say, give me five minutes to explain. It says, boom, pain. And that's what your hook should do. This isn't just about shocking your audience. It's about precision. Spitting cobras don't waste venom. They don't spray the trees. They aim for the eyes. That's what your story needs. Target the emotional eyeballs. Is your audience scared of failure? Hit them with it. Are they chasing a dream? Hit that. Whatever keeps them up at night, spit the truth straight at it. Cobra versus the comments section. Adapting in real time spitting cobras don't fire and forget. They adapt on the fly. If you twitch, they recalibrate. If you shift, they adjust trajectory. And if you think you're out of range, think again. These snakes don't just defend, they respond with intelligence and strategy. Your content needs that same level of calculated instinct. Every comment, every second watched or skipped, every like or silence is your version of facial tracking. It tells you exactly where to aim next. If your audience consistently bails at the three minute mark, don't take it personally, take it tactically. That's your opportunity to twist the narrative, inject a jolt of energy, or drop an unexpected fact that glues them to the screen. A great storyteller watches for signs of drift and corrects course before attention collapses. Think of your content like venom. It shouldn't be sprayed at random. It should be targeted, pressurized, and deliberate. Introduce a plot twist where they least expect it. Crank up the emotion just before the lull and always keep evolving. Because the difference between a forgettable post and one that hits like a cobra to the face is simple reaction speed and precision targeting. Storytelling isn't static. It's a living, breathing duel between you and the scroll-happy thumb. So spit wisely. Humanity strikes back anti-venom in a pill. As of 2025, science is finally fighting back with anti-venom in pill form. You heard that right. Researchers at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine have developed oral treatments using drugs like Marimastat and Unithiol, originally created for cancer therapy. These little pills are entering phase two trials and could become field-ready rescue meds, no needles, no cold storage, just pop one and buy yourself enough time to reach the hospital. And in a development straight out of superhero comics, American researcher Tim Friede has self-injected venom from over 200 snakes including spitting cobras to help scientists create a universal antibody-based anti-venom. That's right. The man took on snakes like most of us take on allergy season, and it's working. Early trials in mice show promising protection against 19 different deadly snakes. So while cobras are out here hurling nature's version of tear gas, we're building chemical shields to catch it. It's the ultimate plot twist. David isn't just surviving Goliath. He's writing the sequel. Nature's Storytelling Blueprint. All jokes and eyeball juice aside, the cobra teaches a brutal, brilliant lesson about storytelling. This snake isn't the strongest, it's not the biggest, but it's memorable because it understands timing, delivery, escalation, and spectacle. It opens with shock, follows with precision, and ends with lasting impact. That's your blueprint. Start with the wildest angle, tighten your delivery, Use emotion like venom, concentrated and fast acting. Build suspense like evolution built defense, layer by layer, test by test, until you hit maximum impact. We explored how the spitting cobra, a surprisingly precise and venomous defender, offers a perfect metaphor for storytelling. Like the cobra, powerful stories strike fast, aim with precision, and leave a lasting impact. With its evolutionary flair and dramatic delivery, the Cobra reminds us to hook our audience immediately and deliver content that hits the emotional core. In storytelling, as in nature, it's not about being the loudest, it's about being the most captivating. So craft your message with accuracy, purpose, and bite. If this video hit harder than Cobra Venom to the eyeball, smash that like button, subscribe for more wild wisdom from the animal kingdom, and drop a comment telling me which creature should teach us storytelling next. Stay sharp and keep your eyes open.